All right, welcome back to another Concord Rangers football manager video. Um, this is a very big episode today, very big. Two games uh, in the league, that's all we're going to get. Two games in the league, Arsenal away and Man United at home. Absolutely massive, absolutely massive. Um, Arsenal are currently second, we're currently top, we're level on points. Uh, so there is that, there is that always. Um, Let's look at the past means. Our looking against Arsenal is pretty decent. It, there was a few years at the beginning when we first came to the Premier League where it was a bit, well, where Arsenal were just a team that would beat us all the time. You go look at that. For a long time, Arsenal were a team that beat us all the time. But now in recent years, it's much more, much more green dots in there. They've only beaten us a couple of times, a couple of times in the last 20 games or so. Um, the last time they beat us was, yeah, you're talking over three years ago. We lost 2-1 right at the beginning of the season, it looks like. Yeah, lost 2-1. I think that was the beginning of our bad season, right? The season before last. Yeah, something like that. Uh, anyway, there you go. Few few good wins in there. Um, obviously, yeah, a few losses at the beginning. But we've got a positive record against them. Let's just go out there and beat them, shall we? Move three points clear. Uh, yeah, we're favourites, we're top, our form is better. Things are pointing in our direction, but we shouldn't take it for granted. Um, in terms of how we play the game... We played Spurs at counter-attack and beat them, but we tried to do it against Man United and just couldn't get over the line. Two suspensions to Kennedy and Stocker, which is annoying. Stocker could be a big loss. I have to think about that. Um, Kennedy, Jacko comes in. jacko has been fine. He's been fine. Um, in terms of Stocker, now I don't know whether we go with Prosperi for energy, which probably is the better idea. Or maybe even Wallace. Hmm. I don't want to play counter-attack today. I think you've got to take the game to him. I think you've got to take the game to him. So, going to go with Prosperi and Hughes in midfield. Let's put Wallace on the bench in case I need a bit more of a playmaker role in there. Uh, ben Rabba's still not quite fit, and I've just been told that Ben Rabba's been picked to play in the African Cup of Nations, so, but being injured for a, for a while, and now he's going to go off and play in the African Cup of Nations. Similar issue to what happened a couple of years ago, where a lot of the season Ben Rabba missed for us because of yeah international call-ups and injuries. Very frustrating. Um, going to go with Bruninho up top. I think he just has a bit more quality. That's probably necessary. Uh, Hackett, Monaghan, Hughes, Prosperi, Davis, Howard, Jacko, Corey, Bass. What about, what's the state with uh, Harvey? Still not 100%. Not worth trying. Not worth trying. Um, on the bench, how many? We've got two central back, centre backs in there. I don't think we need both of them. So I'll take off Lulinia. How? Who else we've got? We've got a tackle midfielder. We've got a left winger. Central midfielder, striker, right winger. Have we got a right winger we can put on the bench? No. We'll put Gabriel Augusto. He can do some. He can do a job if necessary on that. On that uh, right wing. Box to box. It's going to be energy. Going to be positive. We're going to play this game to win. We're going to try and win this game. Come on. Pressberry has a big game on his hands today. Big game on his hands. He could really stay. St Mark is a uh, name down for more games if he plays well today because I think he has got the ability and he is going to be a world class midfielder. Just doesn't get in ahead of Hughes and Stocker at the moment. But we've got an embarrassment of riches in the club. An embarrassment of riches, and it's just about getting them all in, getting them all playing, get keeping them all happy. In terms of ex Concord players, there's a couple I can see in that starting lineup. Any on the bench? No, a couple I can see in there on the starting lineup. Amar Tending, uh, he is, he was with us a long time ago, um, when did he, yeah, a long time ago, sold him to Leicester for 43 million, he then joined Arsenal for a loss for 30 million, he's been there ever since, didn't play much at all last year, only played one game, been playing a bit more this year, uh, and then this guy playing left wing, Casey Phillips, now that is a weird one. He is most definitely a target man, he's a guy you want at the top, 6'3", Strong, he's tall, he's great in the air. You want him up top. 
but they've put him on the left wing. But he's been good since joined Arsenal, since joining Arsenal, to be fair. 17 goals in the league this last season, 7 this year. It's going to be one to keep out, um, but we've got to go for it. We've got to go for it. I don't want to do... I, want, I was thinking about the counter-attack, but I just don't think it's going to work uh, for this game. Give their fans their money's worth. That'd be brilliant. If we can play these guys off the pitch, then you got to be you got to be saying that we're favourites of the title. All right. Um, here you go. Early corner. Poliak takes. Head away. Howard. Is it gone in? No. It's a bit of a goal. My scramble. It's cleared away. Still nil nil. Goal kick to our snow. Here's Phillips. Here's Tim's. That's well played, Prosperi. Great from Prosperi. Just take the ball away there. He'll probably be getting more in the box, Prosperi, than uh, than Stocker would do. That's lovely from Poyak, but I don't know what he tried to do. Try to shoot. Yeah, pointless. Not much happening. We're dominating possession. 80% after 15 minutes. It's all Concord. 83%. It's very rarely this much after this much of time. 20 minutes gone. It's just gone down to 77. So Arsenal getting a bit more possession in the game. Throw in to the yellow boys. To the beach boys. Here we go. Who's on it? Monaghan. Poyak. Get that ball in, lad. Does. Headed in. Michael Hackett. It was a matter of time by the looks of it. By looking at these stats, we have dominated the game. Great ball in by Poliak. Hackett heads it in. He's good in the air, is Michael Hackett. He's having to fulfill a really good job at the, at the moment as well because of what's been going on with uh, Ben Rabba. And he can do it. I'm glad that I've got, still got him in the side after I hear those rumours of him leaving. Chance for Arsenal now, though. Can we counter-attack? Headed away. They've been forced back here. Keep pressing, keep pressing. This is good. Come away with it. They found some space. It's Franklin William. He's a new signing for them. He has a chance now. Oh, would you believe it? That's why he's there. Ex Concord youth prospect. They get scores their first shot, their first attack of the game, and they scored. Come on, Spurs are losing. Spurs are losing, lads. Man United got Man City. Oh, hang on, there's a chance for Arsenal here. That's blocked. Disappointing here, really disappointing for us to dominate the game and now suddenly we're backs against the wall. We dominated the early stages. Save Robinson. Come on. Uh, Spurs are losing. Man United got Man City and I think that's later on. So this could be massive. This could be a massive weekend if we can get a win here. Keep going. Keep going. Here we go. Corner. Hack it. It's in! It's Poyak! I'm not sure what happened. I've seen a bounce around. I think Davis has been given the, the assist. It's 2 1. Great stuff. I'm going to praise him for that and hope that that kicks him on for a third. It's a highlight straight after the goal as well from the kickoff. Come on. Oh, they've gone along over the top. It's Franklin William. It's 2 flipping 2. Can you believe it? Just like that, Peb back. Just like that. He's going to praise him now after he's conceded. Ridiculous. <sighs> Again, uh, Monaghan's a key, an issue for me. Monaghan's a major issue. He's not consistent enough. It's one of them seasons where you can just go, not anymore, mate. I can't afford to be wasting any more time with you. Uh, Bruninho's playing poorly. We've got to be better in those areas. Disappointment can see the two goals. They appreciate their efforts. We're 2 2, mate. Defence has been a little bit shaky. Cuevas has been, was caught out in that one. Jacko was caught out on the other side. They're inexperienced fullbacks. I appreciate this. But the two wingers for Arsenal have scored the goals. As two, our, our two wingers have scored our goals. So let's try and play attack him. Um, Monaghan is skating off the nice for me. Spurs have equalised as well. Come on. Harewood. Force back a little bit. Davis. Quivers found space. That's good. Here's Poyak. With the ball in. Hackett should score. Does score. 3-2. Poyak with the assist again. 
The second goal. Fantastic stuff. It's 3-2. What a game, lads. What a game. Right. Uh, Monaghan's done. Monaghan's done. And I'm really going to have a word of him. Uh, I'm going to warn him about the transfer list because his form is so poor at the moment. I can't afford to keep him. Can't afford to keep him in the club if he's going to be turning out poor performance after poor performance. He's not doing enough. He's just been given a new contract as well. You think you think you'd be able to get something out of it? Uh, get something out of him, but nothing at the moment. Nothing. I'm not sure what he wants. Here we go. Here's Paul Jack. Hack it for a hat trick. Gets the hat trick. Four two. Paul Yak with an assist again. That Polyak Hackett link up today is absolutely brilliant. Yeah, I will keep it. I'm going to keep it in there. Hackett with three goals. Polyak with three assists and a goal himself. Absolutely brilliant stuff between the wingers. We've torn them apart. It's 4 2. Polyak again. Bruninho. Nice layoff. Yako. Get the ball in, mate. It's Bruninho! Off the crossbar and Polyak couldn't finish it off. Almost a fifth. We're looking good going forward. That is definitely not an issue. Just in defence, I'm a little bit concerned. Defensively, they're all over the place. We're tearing them to shreds on the wings. How are Spurs still getting on there? Last time I heard it was 1-1. Still 1-1. Mark Meyer scored for them. NX Beach Boy. Um, right. What we're going to do now, we're going to bring on Robbie Wallace for Hughes. Hughes has been booked. He's not playing particularly well. So I'm going to bring on Robbie Wallace. Again, playing with Prosperi. Uh, we'll deal with that. That'll, that'll do it for now. Four, two. More long balls. Okay, let's just... We're in a good position now. We're in a good position. We're, we've obviously been the better team. There's no denying it. Um, I'll take off Bruninho and I'm going to bring on Augusto. Get him playing as complete forwards. We basically does everything. <laughs> complete forwards are really useful in these kind of occasions. Um, that's a throw into Arsenal. Oh dear. Wincing, lads, I'm wincing. Come on, get rid, get rid. Good challenge. No, he's been tucked away. And again. <gasps> he scored. It's not going to count. It's offside. It's offside. Got away with that. Got away with that. Frank and William playing at right wing back has absolutely been brilliant. I don't think he started the game as right wing back. He's been moved back there because they've gone two up front now. That'll do, lads. It's been a strange performance. Um, oh, Spurs have scored. Unbelievable. Uh, chance now. Could be a fifth. It's not quite clear. Robbie Wallace, get that wave, mate. Lovely ball from the young man. Yako, hack it. Puts the ball in. And Frank and William clears. They're not going to come forward and score again, are they? Oh, they've managed to head it clear, but not... <sighs> Wallace has got them tackered there. Ah, oh, 4-3. Can you believe it? Ryan Sharp. Frank and William has caused lots of problems. He's been brilliant. Two assists and a goal for him. It looks like it's gonna stay it looks like it's gonna stay like that. I'll do no more highlights, please. Blow your whistle. It's like two minutes past the amount allotted. There you go. There was an injury that caught Cabral Goose got injured. Strange, strange game. Entertaining. 4 3 in the end. A hat trick for Hackett and Pogue up with another goal. Poyak and Hackett were absolutely outstanding. Look at that. Everyone else, pretty average. Um, really strange game. Hackett and Poyak took us to a win there. They linked up beautifully. Uh, I'll tell you a good win. I'm not going to get too excited by that. The defence worried me. Defence concerned me in that game. Um, we were in control for major parts of that game. We were in control for a lot of it. And only came we with a 4-3 win. Obviously, that puts us three points clear, which is always good. He's out. Um, Hackett, yeah, 100% brilliant from Hackett. He really he has to step up now because obviously um, looks like we're going to be missing Ben Rabba for a while, but he's had a very good season thus far. 
He's been, he's so useful. Look, I mean, considering he's never been first choice for the club. He had a poor half a season there, and we loaned him out to Hertha Berlin, where he didn't even play. He had, I think he had two Champions League games where he did score a goal. But he had a poor half a season there. But other than that, he's been really good for us. Really, really good. Quality player. I hope he never leaves, because his time as being a first choice will come. Great from Hackett. Well played to you, mate. Um, next game's big. But whilst we're here, I'm going to warn a player. Uh, warn Monaghan. His form is, is not good enough. Not good enough from, the, from, from Monaghan. Uh, one assist. He's had one assist out of ten games. He's been unused and not, not selected, so that's not entirely fair, but... I'm just going to warn him about the transfer list. Say that he's not he's not been good enough. Attitude, match performance, isn't it? I consider you placing on transfer list if your match performance doesn't improve, or as an attacker, you're letting the side down up your game. Yeah, I'm going to go with that one. Just don't list me. He doesn't want to go. He doesn't want to go. He's going to have to perform. And uh, question is, do I give him the opportunity in the next game? Do I give him the opportunity in the next game, which needs Man United? If we just click this button, we'll then find out the Man United score. Look at that. I've got Spurs and Spurs on next Tuesday as well. What a week. Arsenal Wednesday, Man United Saturday, Arsenal Tuesday. Crazy stuff. Uh, well, there you go. Man United lost. Man United have really fallen down the peck in order recently. Man City have become that fourth team. But there you go. That's our next game. It's Man United who are really struggling at the moment. Um, hmm. See you there. All right, then. Another big game. Expecting this one to be a little easier. Uh, I saw, obviously, good, good team. They're, on, they're playing well this year. Um, they beat them 4-3. Uh, it was a tight, tight game. Got a couple of players back from uh, suspension, but what I'm going to do, I'm actually going to play Prosperi ahead of Hughes today. Uh, I just think having a box-to-box -box midfielder alongside a deep line playmaker might they might kind of be perfect foils for each other. So going to go with that. Smith and Harewood. Where's Davis? Then no Davis. Where's Davis? Oh, okay. Rest the rest in him. I think that might be a good idea. Obviously playing games, not playing Ben Rabba. No way I'm playing Ben Rabba. I'll put Ben Rabba on the bench. Um, don't really need Harvey on the bench. But Zamfaroff, don't need Perez on the bench. Go with Wallace. These guys have been injured for a while. I just think maybe maybe risking them. Actually, I'm not even going to put them on the bench. Uh, I'm going to get put Carmo on the bench, though. Carmo, Wallace, Zamfaroff, Hughes, Diaz, Davis. Oh, strong, strong bench, lads. Sticking with bringing you a Monaghan. Um... But in the pre-match team talk, I'm going to have a word with both of them privately and tell them that I expect them to perform well today. Um, what's the restriction? So Tim Moore is struggling more, shoot more often. I might just try and get him to shoot more often as well. Shoot more often. They don't really have much of an input. What does that say? Yeah, that looks for attempt rather than trying to score. I'm going to try and force him to try and score more. Mourinho likes to pass. That's why he doesn't score right, that many. But in recent times, he hasn't even even had any assists. He's really, really concerning me. He concerns me more than Monaghan. Monaghan, I can get rid of. I've not, you know, he's a youth guy. I could probably sell him for a decent amount of money. Mourinho, I spent a lot of money on him. I need some output this season. But there we go. Big game. Um, Diaz is on the bench. Obviously, he's ex-Man United, so he'll be looking to get one over on them. Uh, there's a, there should be a few ex-Concord players in the, in the Man United team. Habib Kouassi. Habib Kouassi. Not been fantastic this season. Been okay. Wenberg's on the bench. I suppose he's getting a bit old now. Yeah, only two starts. Still nine goals, though. It's insane. Judah, he's ex-Concord. Uh, no idea how, like, as I said, I've said in a pre recent episode, he's the Danny Welbeck. Just for years. is is decent. It will be decent enough to start for other clubs, but just doesn't play. Doesn't play. He was good. He was, he was, well, I say he was good. He wasn't that good. I think he came good towards the end of that season. Look at that. 
he's, he's never really... So when's his, his most starts he's had in a league season? 18. 18 league starts he had that season there. It's not great, is it? Never wanted to leave. Never wanted to leave. That's the thing. We were just talking about Hackett. Hackett might be one of those players for his entire career here. Unless uh, something happens to Ben Rabba. Prove a point. Yeah. yeah you got to keep going. Got to keep pressing this in. Oh, I forgot to do the team talk thing to Monaghan and bringing you. Damn it. Never mind. I'll do it. I'll do it during the game if necessary. Okay. Fitness is a concern now. Obviously, playing games as quickly as we're playing them. Um, and obviously, we've got another game in midweek as well. That's a good challenge ever, probably, yeah. Fitness is going to be a concern. And Man United at the moment looking like they're trying to dominate possession. Doesn't happen to us very often, but they're trying to go for it today. Stocker. Nice ball. Olap. Doesn't use it, hack it. Goes alone. Puts a cross. No one was there. That was good. That was good, but just no one really there. Do I want to play more direct? Not really bothered about playing more direct right now. Maybe that's because we're not having, we're not dominating the possession. He wants us to play more direct, but we'll stick with what we've got. I'll we'll stick with what we've got. I just realised the camera's quite low. I apologise for that. There we go. That's much better. Um, throw in here. Monaghan. Kennedy, headed away. Am I going to get a counter-attack here? No, no one's there. Harewood tidies up nicely. What have you got? Nice from Harewood. Stocker, Kennedy. Hack it. Kennedy again. Drop that back. Puts it in. It's in! It's in! It's Monaghan! Get in there! Oh, I'm buzzing for him. Well done. He nips in the area. That's what I wanted more from him. Nip it in and he smashes it in. Get in there, Stephen Monaghan. Ah, oh, he's back, boys. He's back. I really wanted to, want him to kick on and start playing well. Is that it? Oh, saved. Now, Bruninho. We want Bruninho goal, and it's and it's a perfect day. A Bruninho goal with the Monaghan goal. Two nil. Two nil win. Perfect day, lads. Perfect day. Get in there, Monaghan. A win puts us four points clear. Obviously, Spurs have got to play later, so they'll uh, they'll have a chance to bring that back. But Man United have fallen away, man. They were right up there, but they've fallen right away. Okay, okay. It's a decent half. Look, we've not had that much possession, but they've done nothing with it. We've been much better, and we've played attacking. That's what I want them to do. Go out there and prove a point. Right. I'm going to say to Monhunt that I'm really pleased with him. Very happy, and just say to uh, Bruninho that, uh, yeah, show that I've got faith in him. Show that I've got faith in him. He'll be all right. He'll be all right. Come on, boys. If we can, if we can get uh, get the best out of those two players, we'll be absolutely unbelievable. With the wingers the way they're playing at the moment, here's Prosperi. Stocker tackled. Harewood, uh, no pressure here. Should be able to deal with that. Yeah, lovely stuff from uh, Robinson. Here's Poyak. Come on, Poyak. He's been tackled. Well, he's carried on. Head in at the back post. It's Michael Hackett again. This boy knows how to score. It's that link up again between Poyak and Hackett. Great start to the second half. It's almost worth. I'm almost thinking, like, maybe it might be better. Oh, it's a goal. Would you believe it? Straight after you've gone 2 1 up, Man United pulling back. Um. Just tend to get creative. It might be worth, if I want to get more out of Bruninho, stick him on the wing. The wingers get all the goals and the assists. He can do a job on the wing. He might be able to, he might be better than some players. As a ball comes in, it's headed away. Oh, what's happened? He's going to give a penalty. It's a penalty. It's a penalty. Who's given it? I think it's going to be Poljak. It's going to be Poljak. I'm always a bit nervous about Poljak, but he scores this one. 3-1. What a beginning of the second half. Only five minutes have gone. Three goals have been scored. Stunning for the uh, for the spectators. They're getting their money's worth today. Right. I'm, I'm tempted to go with that. I'm tempted to put Bruninho on the wing. <laughs> 
And maybe that kickstarts a bit of form for him. Not say he's, I'm not saying I keep him on the ring, wing at all. But getting a goal or something might then mean I can move him back to striker. I might try and train him not to pass. Because I want, I want him to score goals. He's supposed to be up there for a reason. At the moment, he's just ineffectual. Here's Poljak. Ball, ball comes in. Attack it again! Attack it again! Absolutely brilliant from the boys today. I can't take off Hackett now, can I? I can't take off Hackett now. He's on two goals. Um, I'm going to take off Poljak, though, um, with the idea of putting, putting uh, Brunigno on the wing. Um, I'm going to keep him as an attack, as, as the same sort of player as uh, as Poljak. And I'm going to take off Poljak and put... He's suggesting Zamfrov with Diaz. That's, that's said a lot. Bring on Diaz as a striker. Let's see what Brunigno's like on the left wing. We're 4-1 up against Man United. Man United are really struggling. There's another highlight. We still got half an hour to go. Ball comes in, headed away. Stocker. He was looking dodgy at one point, but just blasted them. Scoring goals against boys. Scoring goals again. Eight goals in two games against Arsenal Man United with Spurs waiting. I tell you what. I tell you what. It's looking very good. Very good. Smith. It's Howard. Lovely stuff. We're beautiful. It's Brunino now. What have you got, lad? As I go. Oh, saved. Saved. Unlucky Brunino. It's Hackett. Oh, we're dominating. We're absolutely tearing him to shreds, boys. We're tearing him to shreds. Let's make some substitutions then. Whilst we've got the opportunity, there's going to be. Uh, hmm. I'm just. Because. Fixtures are coming thick and fast. I'm gonna actually going to move over bringing you to the right wing. Take off Hackett. Bring on Carmo. And I'm also going to take off Stocker and bring on Wallace. Not Zanfroff. Not Zanfroff. Wallace. There we go. There we go, boys. Oh, it's lovely. It's lovely being 4-1 up with 20 minutes to go. It's lovely stuff. Having quasi has gone off with his tail between his legs. Should never have left, mate. Should never have left. He was that backup left winger. He was the Michael Hackett of the left wing. But uh, no, didn't want to. You want to be the first team player. He's gone to Man United and he's won sod all. Here's Kennedy. Can we make it five? It's Bruninho now. What can he do? He has brilliantly to get into the area. Brilliant from Bruninho. Oh. That's great stuff. That's great stuff. I tell you what, I know it's 6.7, but what I've seen there, Bruninho is running at the, with the ball. You don't see a lot of that. You don't see a lot of that at the moment. It's going to the top. Here's Venberg. Oh, he's usually so reliable, Venberg. Save. They had two clear-cut chances. That's the thing. That's the thing. Uh, our defence is so good to a point, but there's going to be chances created at some point. And we played attacking all game. That explains the 4-1 victory today. Or for one lead. Tell you what, for Spurs, I might play Bruninho on the right. I know Hackett's been brilliant. I know Hackett's been brilliant. So it's, it's suicide to drop either Hackett or Poyak, And that's probably completely ridiculous of me to even suggest dropping Bruninho. Uh, dropping either of them. But there we go. Lads, 4-1. What a result. Again, the performance across the pitch wasn't fantastic. But there was just some standout performances from... Those three attacking players, Monaghan, Hackett and Poljak. Hackett and Poljak at the moment have been absolutely brilliant. Lads, you were brilliant. Absolutely brilliant today. Huge game coming up next though, lads. Uh, that'll be on the next episode. Today's episode has been wonderful. It's been wonderful. Ruben Diaz is the, the guy who's just signed for Man City in real life, the defender. He's actually the, the new Man United manager after... Uh, after um, Arteta was actually sacked from the job. Yeah, hack it, mate. Absolutely brilliant. Seven matches won on the row as well. I mean, we've conceded a few goals in the last four, three matches. That is something to be concerned with. But we're scoring them. We're scoring goals, and that's what it's about. That's what this team's about. So, that concludes the year 2040, my friends. Ended it with a bang. Haven't lost a game since... 24th of November with a pretty pretty hard to take loss away at Man City in which we were 1-0 up 
Hannah Mann sent off and then ended up losing 2 1. Been there since then, have not dropped a point in the league. Uh, the only block was a 1 1 draw away at Atletico Madrid, which was good enough to secure top spot. We're in great form. But we're playing another team who are in pretty good form at the moment and they always seem to get one over on us. It's Spurs. They are in good form. The last loss was away at Brighton. Uh, we beat them earlier this season. Beat them at, um, at the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium. Beat them 2-0. We've got them next. We'll be keep an eye on their Newcastle result as well. Maybe that'll do us a favour. There we go, lads. That's today's episode. And what an episode it was. Fun. Fun to watch. Eight goals in two games scored. Conceded four as well. So you saw, you've seen 12 goals over two games, lads. Um, that is, you know, that is worth the subscription alone. Please like the video. Subscribe if you if you haven't before. I'm um, basically saying this to people that I said to every week. But if you think anybody else that you know that likes Football Manager thinks, oh, I want to see what happens to Concord Rangers in 20 years' time. Why don't you forward it to them and see where a real manager such as myself can take them. Anyway, I'll see you in the next episode. Cheers.